Hey guys, this is the UU battle for the uh, European Pokemon League, or the EUPL, against Golduck. Um, we originally did have a first battle that came down very close. It was pretty much Blaziken vs Arcanine. Uh, his Arcanine was asleep, but unfortunately we got disconnected, so we brought new teams and had a different battle. So on the original one, he went for the Taunt, whereas by Reggie still went for Thunder Wave, which was silly, but on we had a disconnection, so I just switched into Primate straight away where he set up the spikes. I go for a U-turn here uh, to break the Sash, and then I switch into Torterra just so I entice him to go for the Explosion and then switch into Spiritomb so I take little damage. I didn't really have anything for this Quillfish. Um, I could have just gone straight for the explosion with Registeel and let him just set up one layer of spikes. Which probably would have been the good option. I played extremely bad, poorly in this battle, and badly, whichever one you want. And, yeah, I'm also using my camera instead of the webcam. I don't know if the quality is going to be better or worse, really, since it has to be compressed for Windows Movie Maker to use it properly. Um... Yeah, so I lose. Spoilers, Sim simple as. But it's just, it's not close, but close enough, I would say. So I go for the trick here, um, and that actually probably cost me during the battle rather than helping me when normally it would help. I should have probably just gone straight for the Toxic or something like that. So I go for the Toxic here, predicting a switch. Um, hoped he'd go into bulky water type, which is my main aim. On my original one, I had a Steelix to get rid of the water, so my Blaziken, Agility Blaziken, could sweep. Because I believe that uh, Blaziken is the best underused sweeper out there in Generation 4. And a new one since has Speed Boost, it doesn't even need the Agility anymore to get its speed up. It just needs Sword Stance, but even though that the High Jump Kick, since it's now base 130, will... Do a lot of recall, well, 50% of your damage, of your HP, not the damage you do anymore, if they use Protect or Switch into a Ghost. Anyway, he predicts my Switch, um, twice, actually, so he switches into Moltres, uh, Torterra, and then here he scouts for the Ice Beam. In the description will probably be his link and the original link, which he's already uploaded, uh, couple days ago, I think two days ago, and this probably be updated one day after, so a total in three days, probably. And I do have things for Chansey, um, especially Ready Seal, so you can't Toxic it, it can Thunder Wave, but it won't do anything, but here, he predicts that again, so he gets three switches in a row, and he's taking no damage from it, of course, and I am taking Spike's damage, which in the end comes to bite me. Um, yeah, so here he goes for Fire Blast, I hoped I could Survive this since I'm max special defense, not quite max HP, but a good amount of hit points. Um, hoped I could survive it. I'm also using a different type of microphone, but you probably won't know. It should be the same, really. Um, yeah, so he takes me out. I thought I could survive and then go for the explosion. It doesn't really matter. I should have, no, go for the stealth rock, which it does sort of matter, but after the toxic and life orb. It's already taken him to down to almost half, not quite. And no one expects a Scarf Milotic, especially when you switch it into like a Moltres or something. Um, actually, it'd probably be more likely if I switch into Torterra. But anyway, let's go for the Surf here. And here I play another bad move. I do another bad move here. And while he switches into Torterra, I knew that Torterra is physically defensive. Who were into special defense of Torterra? Should have gone for two serves and it would have killed modest max special attack my low tick. It should have definitely killed, honestly speaking. But here goes for Stealth Rocks. Now he has two layers of spikes and Stealth Rocks. So I'm taking about at least 100 damage for each from each of my guys every time I switch in. Um, I go for the close combat here. Predictor switch to Chansey. Again, another bad play. A third bad play. So the spikes, nothing, having nothing for Quillfish. Uh... And then the triple predictions, and then the surf, like the Milotic double surf, which I should have gone for. And here going for the close combat. I should have just gone for the U-turn, switch to Spiritomb, knowing it can't do anything anymore. 
Uh, I need the Milotic for the Arcanine, Blaziken for the Chansey, and Prime I predict to switch a Chansey, but why would you switch into a Chansey from a Primate, really? And Close Combat really wasn't the smartest move, but I don't know what I was thinking here. Again, here I make another bad play. I know he has nothing fast, excluding the Arcanine, which has extreme speed anyway, but I go for the Rock Polish, because he has Chansey, um, what else? Chansey, Arcanine, this Torterra, his Moltres has gone, his Quillfish has gone, and one other. So, I, I should have not gone for the agility there, and just gone for wood hammers, two wood hammers, and then I would have, I don't know, I probably would have taken, no, I would have taken more life or break, so maybe rock polish was the correct thing, but I shouldn't have switched into Torterra against his Torterra, knowing it was physically defensive anyway. Should have gone for the U-turn, switched into Spiritomb, let it die, knowing it has little use left at half hit points, then go into something else. Because he would have taken a bit more recoil from the wood hammer, then maybe gone to Prime up again and gone for the Ice Punch, which I thought he would have predicted, and that's why I went for the close combat, but just in case you switched to the Archimander, but in hindsight it was a bad choice. So I go to Spiritomb here, just for Scout Fodder, uh, Fodder, I don't know, how else would you say Fodder? Anyway, yeah, I go for here, here, he goes for Flare Blitz and it's gonna kill, it's banded, Arcanine has great attack. Great special attack too, great bulk, it's a great overall UU, which I've really used one myself. Well, my previous, in the first battle we had, I did a Scarf Dark and Iron, because I like to run double Scarfed, because no one ever except, expects that, since my Primate and my Melodic was Scarf, both Scarf. Um, yeah, Blazer King comes in, takes about 100 from Spike Stealth Rock, uh, he goes for the Flare Blitz, it doesn't really matter, now I know I've lost this game, his chance he can wall. Uh, whatever, uh, my Melotic, and he has a Hitmon top, which I didn't know at the time, but that obviously carries priority most of the time anyway, and so, yeah, I go for the Fire Blast here, and it does a surprising amount, um, since he did mention it was Special Defensive in his own narration, and maybe if it wasn't Agility 1, if it was a Max Special Attack Modest, uh, and then a vacuum wave would have maybe killed it, and then with superpower would have probably taken out the chance. Yeah, and hit him on top of the vacuum wave wouldn't do much, but it would have been better than no, no damage whatsoever. But can't do anything about it now. I played badly. He played well considering compared to me anyway. Um, yeah, it wasn't a great battle. It wasn't my top potential. I probably need to know how to create teams rather than just using a bunch of guys randomly put together. Even though we, these weren't too randomly put together, I normally use them weaknesses and whatnot, but yeah, it was it was a badly played match. Sorry for the lousy narration. My first non-alphabetical marathon, excluding my piano piece, which I hope you all enjoyed anyway. Um, nothing much else to say. I think my camera cuts here. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the battle. It wasn't the best. Um, yeah, I died to the second seismic toss. So, I will see you in the future, really. Comment, rate, subscribe, of course. Um,